Welcome to Good Myth Gamora. Let's talk crime. Let's talk punishment. Let's talk fun when you put the two together. But first, let's give $1,000 to the Los Angeles LGBT Center, which provides services for more LGBT people than any other organization in the world. And this fall, your very own mythical crew is participating in the LGBT Center's Big 5K in order to raise critically needed funds that will leave a lasting impact on the community. Our goal is to raise $10,000. So please support Team Mythical and support the Los Angeles LGBT Center by going to lalgbtcenter.org slash mythical. We Woo. got our very own URL. Thank you for being your mythical best. Um, Stevie, what's the scenario here? Well, do you know why we're talking about crime and punishment? Uh, because it, what we did was a crime, and I <laughs> yeah. felt like we were constantly being punished. Yeah, uh, the treadmill was actually invented as a, uh, a, a punishment device in 1818 as a means for prisoners to put in an honest day's labor. Usually two dozen prisoners would work a single machine which would grind grain or pump water. Oh, oh that looks like they're climbing turn. steps. But it wasn't just for the heck of it. It wasn't just for the heck of it. I thought it was going to... Yeah. Surely they were using this... They're using it to power power. things. Did you ever go to that um, ice cream place downtown that had the bike? That they would use the bike to I vaguely know about this. Yeah. Yeah, they were making the customers do the work. Yeah, that's not cool. Well, first of all, it wouldn't be that hard to, like, rewire... I know people aren't going to the gym as much now, but, like... All the, the treadmills and the bikes and ellipticals and stuff, all that should be like... Just put it into the power grid? It should be powering the, the world, man. Huh. Why not do that? Or at least the gym itself. It looks like they're actually walking on the, the, the paddle wheel itself, which looks really dangerous. How did what we, we did look? Did it look dangerous? Yes, it looked exactly like this uh, my, illustration. My teeth! are soft. Something about like coating my mouth in horseradish, like my teeth feel soft. I thought you meant they got like softened by the treadmill. I was like, worried. Like they feel smooth. Like I may be onto smooth something. Smooth or soft? Smooth and soft. Soft is a problem. Smooth feels like we could live with smooth. Silky soft. My teeth are disintegrating like fun dip. <laughs> okay, so I'm going to- By the end of this more, I'm not gonna have teeth. I'm gonna, gonna, I'm gonna give you a word or a phrase that has to do with crime and punishment, and you're going to have to guess what you think that slang is, okay. essentially. Define the slang. So the first one is the ducking stool. What was the ducking stool used for? Ducking stool? In the way that I would think it would be spelled? Like like, oh. a, like the animal, the duck? Yeah, like when you're trying to type on your phone and it keeps correcting now, you to you, ducking. You say crime and punishment. Are you extend? Is this being extended into like torture situations? Well, I've only read round one, <laughs> so <laughs> so we'll see. Ducking stool. And now I've read the reveal of round one, and I will say yes, there's torture involved. Uh, okay, all right, yeah, because I was about to say this is different. Uh, I've been to the Medieval Torture Museum in Prague, and I've talked about it at least 12 times on this show. So I won't it talk stuck about with it you. It really stuck with you. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I, I don't like looking at old... You get something like, that sticks in you. That was a, the souvenir. Um, well, Okay. I mean, when I went to the, uh, let's see, what's that, what's that, that jail in London? The old jail? <laughs> the old jail. Where they keep the crown jewels. Oh, I went in there. They also had some torture devices around there, like the Tower of London or whatever it's called. Yeah, the Tower of London. And uh, I, it's, that's just not my idea of a good day at the park. It's like, I don't want to be walking around the park and all of a sudden, oh, look, there's a medieval torture device where people were skewered, stabbed, and stretched. That's the difference between me and you. <laughs> all right, I'm saying the ducking stool, you, you have to sit on a stool, but then you're ducking to dodge being skewered. I think... But it hurts to duck, but it hurts more to be skewered. I think it's something that compresses your head and your neck straight down into your body. Like folds you up. <laughs> 
Um, it is it is neither thing. Uh, the ducking stool, also called a cucking stool, I don't know why oh. I had to Oop. say that, was used to scold unruly women in the 16th and 17th centuries. If a woman told off her husband or spread gossip, she was tied to a wooden chair and repeatedly dropped into a stream or lake. Oh, wow. Who is clapping? That was Carney. Come on, Carney. Dark. So Dark. He doesn't mean anything by it. <laughs> Carney, we've never got a clap from Carney. He, he waits until now and he claps for the ducking stool. You know what, he did, he was, he's watching a ball game on his phone. Yeah, it's sports related. Uh, so, so I think it was the dunking stool, and yeah. then it got... D you dunk, you don't duck. Maybe ducking used to be dunking, and then maybe ducking was ducking, or dunking was ducking, and now ducking is dunking. It's basically like a forced bath. <laughs> forced bath. I mean, when my kids were young, I had to, I'd have, I, I I could have used one of these just to get them to bathe. Right, yeah. <clears throat> All right, no points stool. for that one, apparently. Okay, the... Wur, wur guild, wur guild, W-E-R-G-I-L-D. Define wur guild. Nothing to go on here? No. Please define the term wur guild. I mean, it's anybody's guess, right? I also feel like if you guys want to scrap the whiteboard, uh, you guys are like what, writing little dissertations. Uh, that yeah, probably and we're, are we're not going to say the same answers. Yeah. After this, we don't need them. Okay. But I, I am going to read what I wrote down. The War Guild. It's a belly button expander to death. Oh. You, you put it in the belly button, and then it slowly expands until you die. Here's the thing. Mine also ends with to death. <laughs> cool. But I said spin to death. This was the precursor to the Gravitron. It was just a one person spinning. spinning? It, like, spin why, why use the word? word? Two, why you use two? Because I'm because you're not doing the track list for a SoundCloud round. No, no, because it's 2021, man. I, I, if you can use a number, you should. So you spin somebody to death. Like Guys, it's just is putting spin so, the word. But you, but I do want. I want to say this first, though. I didn't want to say this because I didn't because you, you you didn't want me to write a dissertation. They stick a rod up your anus. Um, oh. And then they, and then so we we're both sticking and, stuff in holes, and then it death. goes up, and then they hit a thing, and it comes out and grabs your insides, and then they spin you. To you death. know what? And at what point yeah. is spin the word? I, that's that the kind of stuff they did in the Middle Ages. It I'm was so crazy. Spun. You should go to the museum in okay. Prague, and half the time the people, it was always dudes, of course, the dudes who invented the torture stuff, they got it, it was used on them later in life. Like and that was great. the thing. It was like great. You, you buy the you, you invent this thing and then you're like, oh, they may if they turn on me they're gonna and that's what they did. They turn on you and they use it on you. Don't invent that stuff because they're mad that you invented it. This so has the, nothing to do. Same apparatus does both of these things with orifices being ripped apart or expanded, spend, um, spuns or expanded. The War Guild is the value set on human life in accordance with a person's rank and status. It was a medieval punishment for the crime of murder, so the amount of restitution paid to the victim's family was dependent upon the victim's status. Which the directly word relates word to the spin rate of the word guild. No, okay, so you're the saying- The more they were worth, the faster it spins. But no, but you are saying that the richer your killer was, the more money your- No, 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 not makes. the murderer, you yourself. Basically, like oh, if you kill yeah. a if you kill a king, the the consequences are greater than if you kill a peasant. Hmm. Yeah, Sad. exactly. All right, we're going we're going whiteboardless for this one. Please tell me what Old Bailey is. Old Bailey. It you know it was the spice. Uh, the Old Bay completely decimated back in the Spice Wars. <laughs> <laughs> a lot of people don't know about Old Bailey, but it, basically, it's the same as Old Bay. I mean, pretty much the same profile. You couldn't tell the difference, but it was a marketing thing. To death. Yeah. Well, yeah. Well, of course, Bailey's dead. Yeah. That's how Bay killed him. I, I, With a I mean, word guild. Can we get some sort of hint here? Because there's <clears throat> nothing to go on. Is it something you get inside? 
This is, I mean, technically, yes. It is a, it is a place. It's like a dungeon. Oh, it's not one, it's not a contraption. Put it's him a, in the old Bailey. Uh, it's a. It's where all the crap and stuff gathers. It's in the a bottom hole. Of the jail. It's a hole. It's a solitary confinement hole where you're forced to stand. There's not enough room to sit. Hmm, I like that. No, oh, you you want to try that out? Yeah, it's like it's like the uh, what is it called in Matilda? The pokey, the chokey, the iron. I like maybe. the pokey better. So you know about some of these things too. Uh, Old Bailey is a famous law court in London where serious crimes are tried. Old Bailey was built in 1539, and it houses the Central Criminal Court for England and Wales, and it's named for the street on which it stands. Boring. What is Our the ideas term? Are a lot better than that. Chance medley. Mean. Chance medley. Chance yeah. medley. That's when the choir director is like, "Listen, tonight for the Christmas cantata, there's a chance that we're going to do the medley. It just depends on how long the program is. So I may, if we get you're to buying the, a ticket, but you don't we, know if, if we get to the end of the, the cantata medley. and I go like this, that means we're cutting the medley. There's a chance that we're going to cut the medley. So don't count on it. It's a chance medley." I think that the chance medley is when um, multiple people, at least three, are being tortured, and then their oh, their whales their whales start to synchronize, and it makes some makes a chorus just by chance. You know where I thought That's you were like, going? Wow! With that? And it's different songs in in an order that are all shorter than they would be yeah. because they're being tortured. And you do it at the Christmas so then, Yeah, and then they, so. That's a all, great idea. They're singing three different songs that come together But I thought what until you were they gonna die. say, which w- would have been a, like a legitimately good answer, is I thought it was gonna be a torture device where there's multiple people and, o- and every time they press a button or do something, only one of them gets tortured. Ooh, the chance medley. Like that would be so wicked. I could definitely think of this stuff. Now that's hold why on, I'm glad but, it's not the Middle Ages. But then you're gonna die by it. I know. That's why I'm glad it's not the Middle Ages. It's just a thought exercise. What would happen to just good old pulling teeth? You know well, that uh, that was a very inventive uh, torture device that you've created. But chance medley is actually an old English phrase meaning random mix-up, and it was used to describe a squabble that escalated and resulted in the death of a person, but that death was not intended or planned. A squabble with unintended death. It's a chance, med- chance medley. Chance medley. Um, okay. I mean, it's oddly, uh, like, nice. Like, the when you call it a chance medley, it's like, oh, they, we didn't mean to kill that guy. Yeah, yeah. Well, it's I, a chance I, I, medley. It's just, oh, it's, it's a chance medley. I feel a little better yeah, about it. It softens it, just like your teeth. Uh, we got this travel mug. <laughs> it says Good Mythical Morning on it. It's the opposite of torture. If you get this thing, you can put your travel drinks in it, and then you can travel with it. You can seal it up, pop it, pop, 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 and then you can unseal it and drink from it. And you're drinking from the place that never touched your fingers. I'm like eating from a treadmill. Mythical.com. I went to the. Uh, has anybody been to the like inter- interactive Van Gogh thing? No, but I've heard about it. Oh, who said yeah? Chris. Fancher. We 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 have a few okay so how was it? Uh, it was pretty awesome, but what the reason was I'm, he there? Yeah, he's there. He 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 introduces himself. Uh, Interact with him. The cool thing that I wanted to point out about it has nothing to do with the art. It has the clapping made me think about this. So it's this giant sort of like everything's being projected, right? All this Van Gogh like interactive stuff, and you kind of feel like you're in the painting sort of thing. But it's on a loop, and when the loop ends, the whole idea is that the like 300 or so people who are all like, it's, it's a massive space. 300 people? Well, and they have like, they have, they projected like the socially distant like circles all over the floor and stuff. So like everybody's like separated, and of course masked. But the, what happens is, is when the loop is over, they want you to leave so the next group can come in. And the employees have been trained that as soon as the credits play, to go, to get everybody clapping and know that it's over. And I witnessed this happen before we went in. Like there was a guy like waiting at the curtain and he was waiting, he was like, the loop is almost over. He's really calm. And then, it was, and then I heard like the loop and like the music end. And he stuck his upper half of his body into the curtain and was like. 
You know who'd be good at that? <laughs> Carney. Carney. <laughs> yeah. Carney, you could have a, a night job. It was the Is loudest it clapping. It was so intense. It was actually unsettling. I mean, they ha somebody came up with that. They were like, the only way to get these idiots to move is. <laughs> what, why, didn't, why don't they just come over the speaker and say, that concludes your Van Gogh journey. Please exit. No one, no one thought of that. I mean, it does, the credits come up and it like, it's just playing credits. You think people would just stand there forever? Yeah, I would have without the clapping. Did you start clapping? I was like, Ugh. So you, you did start clapping. But I clapped like a normal. Okay, well to start the clap, you that was gotta, great. you've gotta be a little incessant to be the one to start the clap. I mean, it's, it's like starting the wave at an arena. You know, well, you've gotta be a little obnoxious. You know, that, But then you're the hero. That's a good segue into this phrase, <laughs> into this final phrase, which is, you've heard of run the gauntlet. Yeah. What is? I've also heard of spinning, spunning? Sp spend. Spooning the gauntlet? Spend. Uh, what is run the gauntlet? Gantlope. I'm gonna say gantlope. Run the gantlope. All right, so the gauntlet. The gauntlet is when the things are like swinging back and forth and you have to go through it. Is it? I thought it was a glove that you threw down. Well, maybe different parts of the country. I don't know, one's in Wales. You throw down the gauntlet and then you run the gauntlet. Two different I, things. I always thought of the gauntlet as there's this thing like swinging. Are you talking to Indiana Jones? Yeah, and it's like you, it's like compartmentalized, and you got to get through. But it. the gamblet, what? The goat lock. Gant, <laughs> Gant lope. Gant lope. Gant lope. Gant. Do you run it? Run the Gant lope. So is is this is this some sort of a uh, um. What's it called when you have to run through things and there's like obstacles? An obstacle course. I think this is the first steam powered weed whacker. Um, run the gant. <laughs> and the gant low. They had to. They, you, you go back into those days, you'd be surprised at some of the technology. You're like, oh, I didn't know they had that kind of thing, but there'll be somebody with a weed whacker. There was a. Um, <laughs> I, 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 I'm agreeing with him. That's also my answer. It's like a steam. <laughs> It's a steampunk thing. Do you remember there was a line of clothing when we were in high school called Gant, and our friend Josh Harvey Gant would always wear Gant clothing, and I had some Gant. I have no idea. But I he do would not remember this at all. He would talk about Gant, and he would say it as if it were a dirty word, like the dirtiest of words. He'd be like, and I'm not going to use it in a sentence, but he would. He'd be like, Oh, I, was, I see you're in that Gant today. I guess that was a sentence. Yeah, right, yeah. But I thought that was a safe one. And he would just, the way what? he would make it multiple, multiple syllabolic, like gant. But how, what kind of gant clothes did you have? I don't know. They were like button up. It was like a preppy, like a button up. It was a button up, yeah. Like a polo? Yeah. So wait, what do you think run the gant loop means? Oh, we don't know. Turn the wee whacker on. Okay, it's, uh, a form of military or naval punishment where a man ran between two rows of soldiers or sailors who struck him with sticks or knotted ropes. Okay, so it's a um, it's a yeah, it's, it's a, a tunnel of, call of call people who are hurting you. All right, but sign me up. But but no, there nobody actually gets killed. I mean, unless the stone hits the right part of your head. Uh, I don't know. Travel on, traveler, with the colorful GMM travel mug. Available now at mythical.com.